Hey guys, this is Melody, and today we're here with the sketchbook tour. Finally, it has taken forever to get to this point. Uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. First here, we have Redbubble stickers, because whenever you order stickers, they send you some of these. And Sticker Mule, because I've been ordering through Sticker Mule, and every time you order, they send you the same stickers. So you'll see a lot of those. Um, so I started this in December, and it took me through May to finish, but it's because I filled every single page. Here's another sticker mule sticker, FYI. The first page was a scholar box page. You'll see a few of these throughout where I just kind of like swatch the supplies, maybe do a little sketch. And then this is the first like actual page. So at work sometimes I need a break, my eyes need a break from staring at a computer screen. So I'll do some doodles on post-it notes and then I'll put them in my sketchbook. Sometimes I do it at home as well, uh, but I think all of these ones I did at work. This one you will have seen if you watched my scrawler box videos. That was actually for the November scrawler box sketch, which this um, sketchbook actually came with that box. And then here I had the idea that I wanted to do like a spread for each month and then do some doodles of things that happened that month or whatever and that didn't really pan out. So here I was kind of playing with this color palette with my Copic markers. This was a sketch at work of the computer next to me. And this is actually um, the original sketch for that sticker design you may have seen. Some more post-it note sketches. This is the Sumber Scrawler box. We got those highlighters. This, I don't know. <coughs> Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. I'm a little bit congested right now, so if my voice sounds weird, that's why. Um, this girl, I kind of created her, and I still don't really have a name for her, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. This is just kind of a little doodle I did. I, I would like at some point to do like a little webcomic or something, but I don't know if that'll ever happen, and if it does, when it'll happen. And then I started, this was during the snow days. I started drawing Pokemon on post-it notes, baby butt. These two also during the snow day. This one I did at work, so I used highlighters for that. This was another scholar box. We got Windsor and Newton Pro markers, I think, yeah. So I did some little doodles with those markers on there. And this was a quote from someone on YouTube. Um, Study with Jess, I think, is her YouTube channel. And I just really liked it because I know for me it's hard sometimes to compare myself to other people, especially with my art and stuff, um, which obviously we shouldn't be doing. We should focus on ourselves and our own personal growth. This was the sketch that inspired the sticker. I did this at work. And then this, these were sketches that inspired another sticker that I have. If you're interested in these stickers, go on Etsy and you can check them out. Um, but yeah, I think I just had a day at work where I was just like kind of needed a break. So I did a bunch of these and they don't take long to sketch out. This I was trying to play with poses and hands because hands are something I've always struggled with. These two artists were from Comic-Con. And so I took their cards and just taped them in here. I don't know if you can read this at all, but this one is Haley Morris. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And this one is Allie White. I've also bought myself a bunch of new markers at Comic-Con. And I really like this spread, like these two pages. I don't know why. This one was inspired by a picture of me cosplaying as Shell. This, I don't know. This was <laughs> inspired by a rugby player. Um, this was based off a drawing by another artist, but I don't remember who. They did a draw this in your style thing, which like I didn't fully participate. I just kind of wanted to play with this. And then another little puppy. And this was a sticker mule sample. I ordered samples from them. So I got like a little bit of a bunch of different products. That way I could kind of see everything. 
And then me trying to just kind of portray some emotions. I really like this muted color palette right here. Uh, these are more sticker mule samples. Me trying, I just, I've been trying to play more with like posing and stuff because I feel like I've done so many portraits and headshots and whatnot. I just, I want to do more. More samples, some feet. And if you're trying to make your sketchbook cohesive, which I mean, this page isn't really, but just adding in stuff to fill in the white space sometimes helps. And just like putting a bunch of sketches on a page that sort of overlap a little bit, just makes it look more full. Um, this is the sticker I was talking about that was designed from the leaf sketches. This is just some washi tape because I wanted to fill in the bottom of the page. This was, I think it was out in Seattle and someone was singing a song and this was one of the lyrics and I just kind of liked it. This was based off of, um, I can't remember her name, but if I remember it, I'll put it in the description or have it up somewhere in the video. She's a YouTuber and she was going through sketchbook and drawing and stuff and I just kind of liked this idea so I went with it, but I don't remember who it was. That's gonna bother me. I'll look it up and hopefully I can find it. Uh, this, again, song lyrics, sometimes you have... No, this one wasn't song lyrics, that's the next one. Uh, sometimes you have to put yourself first. Something I'm really not good at doing, so I need the reminder. Uh, I tend to overstretch myself and put others first, which is good. But, you know, sometimes you need to take time for yourself as well. More stickers. Oh my goodness, they just keep sending me more. So I just threw them on the page. So this page is kind of ugly. But this is my sometimes you win some, sometimes you dim some sticker. This is how it turned out. And this one is a song lyric. You are careless with my heart. I found this picture and I just kind of drew it. And then these were the March Copic colors. I didn't post these or anything. I was just sitting at a Starbucks. I think between services at church or something and sketching these out and some guy came up and like started talking to me so I only <laughs> managed to do two post-it notes uh, and then this is the thick boy sticker based off of that sticky note sketch uh, this one's I need space again another song lyric and it just gave me this visual of a girl on a rocket ship obviously like her body wouldn't really fit if her head's this big like, where's her body unless she's kneeling I guess but that's beside the point. Some more sketches. This one was actually in a church service. One of the bullet points was bear, one of those problems, and I couldn't help but draw a little bear. My mom says I should make this into a sticker. So if you like that idea, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Some more little doodles. I kind of like the simplified features on this. Like, there's just not a lot of detail. Um, so it makes it easier to draw, obviously. I like the way these are stylized, I think. Sorry for the sniffling. Um, and this is a little watercolor doodle. This paper obviously isn't great with watercolor because it's really thin, but I mean, it did okay. And this was inspired by Lee Ellickson. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And Alexa just thought I said her name. <laughs> um, but she does such like beautiful art it's bright and colorful and she always has well not always but she has like this kind of color scheme and she's one who's inspiring me to want to try to gua try gouache again but obviously like a higher quality than the reeves i tried last time these were more red bubble um samples this one's like a vinyl transfer thing i don't know if that's something that i would ever print just because i like i don't know what i would print I got a message. Uh, and this is just a random, I don't know, stripe. I just threw them in here because one, it filled up space and I wanted to complete the sketchbook, and two, I didn't know where else to put them. Uh, this is kind of like a female Groot situation. I got my colored pencils out for this one, and that was fun. This, this is the point at which I decided to start taping or gluing some of my scholar box art into my sketchbook because it's not something that I'm going to sell or anything and so I figure it would look good in my sketchbook, have the swatches and then have the art that I created with those supplies. Um, so this is the March scholar box with the pencils. This was like so hard to color on because it's 
kind of glossy. Not really good colored pencil paper, but that's okay. And then this, oh, this was made with the same supplies as this. Not like the most finished thing in the world. And then there's this. The concept of the shadows and the leaves and stuff was inspired by Milky Ways. I've not really played with shadows, but I really liked the way she did it. So it was something I want to explore more. And then some sketches. Sometimes what I do is I go on Pinterest or Instagram and I look at just like models or other people's sketches to kind of like get ideas. So I think that's what inspired these. These were inspired by, um, I think her name is Sarah Tepis. I don't know how to pronounce it, but just like the line work and stuff is inspired by her for sure. This one, I think I semi-copied and the other ones were just kind of inspired by her style. I think I, I don't post stuff like this on Instagram because especially this one like it's more copied than these were and I don't want to be claiming that it's my work and I know some artists don't like people copying their stuff but it is good sometimes in your sketchbook to copy other people's styles that you enjoy and kind of see what works for you and what doesn't. Uh, it's a good way to learn, especially if you have artists that you think are way better at drawing than you. You can kind of learn and see what their technique is based on trying to follow their technique a little bit. So I like to do that sometimes, especially if there's something I'm having a hard time drawing. Obviously drawing from life is the best way, but sometimes it's hard to figure out how to stylize things. So for hands, I'll look up a bunch of different artists and how they draw hands and maybe copy a few ways and see what I like and what fits for me and then personalize it. But I typically don't post that stuff on Instagram or whatever just because I don't want people to think that it was mine when I kind of stole it from someone else. So if you ever do post that stuff, definitely give full credit to the artist. This was from a scholar box, not my favorite thing in the world. This one's not finished, but I'm one of those people that if I don't finish it within like a couple days of starting it, it's probably not going to get finished. So this is me just playing with realism. I haven't done that in a while. Let me know if you'd like to see me do a video on realism because I think it'd be kind of fun. And then mermaids started, so you're going to see some mermaids from here on out. This was another scholar box. And like I said, mermaids. So this one was inspired by Sailor Moon a little bit. Um, just like the little buns and the moon stuff. This one's an adolescent girl. I said in the video where I was actually drawing these. I'll see if I can link it somewhere. But there's just so, much, so many adult women that I've seen in mermaid. I wanted to do some different ages, maybe some different genders. Like get a couple boys in here. We'll see. I think I'm most comfortable drawing women though because I am a woman, so like that's what I see staring back at me in the mirror every day. These were just some sketch ideas for another mermaid. Um, I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I don't know what was going on that day. And a little baby one. This, just quick sketch on some post-it notes. Stitch, I think this one turned out really adorable. I kind of wanted to try out I don't know exactly how Sibylline does her style. I need to link all these artists and it's going to be a pain. Um, but I th it looks like she uses watercolor for her outlines and then marker for the sh like coloring. It's, her coloring is so simple. I just Because it is a kind of a cartoon, I wanted to play around with it. Obviously, my outlining isn't perfect, but I do kind of like the way it turned out. And the last page is this one. I honestly love this. I love the way this turned out, especially since it was such a quick sketch. I did it at work. Hopefully no one from work watches these. They're gonna think I just like draw at work all day. But you know, sometimes on my lunch break I draw and sometimes technically we get to 15 minute breaks and I don't really, I don't frequently actually take those breaks except on occasion. So there is that. Um, I guess I could have done something on these pages, but I didn't. And then the back page, or back cover, more sticker mold, red bubble, and this. Uh, it's hard to tell unless you look really close. I just, I think the quality on 
the sticker mule stickers. Let me see if I can find one. I just feel like the quality is so much better. Um, and I haven't really tried other sticker companies and I know there's other ones out there. So, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if there's like a better place, but for the price and stuff, I just feel like it's such better quality. If you look, it's not grainy at all, but here on the red bubble it is kind of grainy. And you can look at the outlining, it's really smooth, but on here it kind of like chops it. Um, and it's just kind of like awkward. So while I do have designs like this and stuff on Redbubble, if you want the sticker, I say go to my Etsy shop because one, it's a lot cheaper and two, it's better quality in my opinion anyway. So I'll leave you on this and make sure you comment, like, subscribe, give me a big thumbs up. I'm going to start a new sketchbook and who knows, I mean, who knows when that's going to be done, but it's only 40 pages instead of 60. So hopefully it won't take as long. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.